Assalamu alaikum friends you are watching exploring with Najam Do you know that there is a place in the world where you can see the sunset twice in one day and do you know which place it is and why this happens you will get the answer by the end of this video Friends we have been learning since childhood in school and also seeing in movies that the shape of our earth is round like a ball or an egg but do you know that in this modern era, there is also a group in this world that does not believe in this concept? They believe that the Earth is not round but flat, like a plate or a disc. They claim that NASA and other international organizations are lying about this and that they know the Earth is a flat surface, but they do not reveal this to the world. So today, we will discuss all these things. Make sure to watch the video till the end. Many hundreds of years ago, when humanity had not advanced much, people understood the world and the universe based on what they could easily see with their own eyes. For example, people used to think that the sun revolved around the earth. But as science progressed, humans discovered that it is not the sun that revolves around the earth, but the earth that revolves around the sun. This revelation completely changed human perception. And just like that, people initially believed that the earth was completely flat, like a disk. However, when humans became capable of exploring the depths of space, they discovered that the Earth is not flat but has the shape of an egg, meaning it is oval. But friends, do you know that even in today's advanced era, people from various countries around the world still believe that the Earth is not round but flat? In fact, those who believe in this idea have formed their own society known as the Flat Earth Society, which includes members from all over the world. And the members of this society present various explanations to support their belief, trying to convince the world to accept their viewpoint. So the question arises, is the world really flat? Or is it round and curved? Since the average person cannot go to space to verify this, have scientists been lying to the world about it all this time? Now let's discuss why the Flat Earth Society believes the Earth is flat and what their concept is regarding this matter. Firstly, Flat Earthers believe that NASA has been lying to the entire world. They claim that everything we see and read about the Earth being round in books and on the internet is created using CGI, computer-generated imagery technology by NASA. According to them, NASA has fabricated these images and information using computer technology and is spreading these lies to the world. Friends, it is true. And there is no doubt that NASA edits all the images taken in space using CGI technology before publishing them. The reason they use this technology is that there are many things in space that the human eye cannot see clearly. So, they use CGI technology to enhance and clarify the images taken from space before presenting them to the world. So, the question arises. Why haven't other countries raised objections against NASA if they believe NASA is lying? especially when other countries are also preparing their own space stations. Why haven't they revealed that the Earth is flat if they have reached space as well? If NASA is indeed lying, how can it get away with it when other countries have also ventured into space exploration? If NASA is lying, why haven't other countries with their own space stations exposed this deception? So, according to the claims of the Flat Earth Society, not only does NASA lie about the shape of the Earth, but they also assert that the United Nations is aware that the Earth is flat, not round. This is why they argue that the map depicted by the Flat Earth Society reflects the true shape of the Earth. They believe that countries around the world know that the Earth is flat, but choose to keep this truth hidden from the public. So, the question arises, if governments around the world know that the Earth is flat, what benefit would they have in hiding this truth? Additionally, the United Nations has depicted all countries on a globe-like map, which is necessary for representing the Earth's surface accurately in a 3D model. Is it possible for all countries to be represented accurately in a flat map? The Flat Earthers argue that the United Nations attempted to show all countries on a single map, which they interpret as a flat Earth map according to their beliefs. However, this interpretation raises further questions about the feasibility and accuracy of representing the Earth's surface in such a manner. Furthermore, the Flat Earth Society also believes that the Earth's actual shape being like this is... 
In addition, they also believe that there is an ice wall surrounding the entire world, preventing the water from falling off the edges. And they also believe that the Earth does not revolve around the Sun. Rather, they propose that the Sun revolves around the Earth, while the Moon and the Sun are at a fixed distance away from each other. And they claim that both the Sun and the Moon are the same size. They also argue that there is a dome above the Earth, providing protection. Furthermore, they assert that the Earth appears flat to the naked eye, even when observed from high altitudes, such as from an airplane. They argue that there is no visible curvature because humans are tiny in comparison to the size of the Earth. To perceive the curvature, one would need to view the Earth's surface from beyond it, as the actual circumference of the Earth is approximately 40,075 kilometers. So, if we wish to perceive the curvature of the Earth, for every 111 kilometers we travel horizontally, we would only experience a one-degree curve. Our eyes, while on the ground, are not capable of seeing beyond this distance, making it impossible for us to perceive the curvature directly. And now, let's talk about lunar and solar eclipses. In the Flat Earth model, it's not possible for lunar and solar eclipses to occur because, according to their model, the Sun and the Moon revolve around the same celestial sphere. Therefore, in this model, it's not possible for the Moon to come between the Earth and the Sun, or for the Earth to come between the Sun and the Moon. These events are only possible in scenarios where the Earth's curvature is considered, and everyone experiences lunar and solar eclipses in their lives, providing significant evidence against the Flat Earth concept. After that, Flat Earthers often argue that no matter how much we zoom in on an object, it will always appear at the same location, and won't appear to sink below the horizon. They claim that if the Earth were curved, then any distant object should gradually disappear from view, similar to how the setting sun seems to sink below the horizon. However, this claim is incorrect, because we can experience the effects of the Earth's curvature in our everyday lives. For example, when we are near the ocean and look towards the horizon, we can observe a curved line where the sea meets the sky, indicating the Earth's curvature. Additionally, the effect of the Earth's curvature becomes apparent when we observe a distant ship. As the ship moves away from us, it gradually appears to sink below the horizon, starting from its lower edges. This observation serves as further evidence that the Earth is not flat, but curved. Now, let's move on to the next point raised by the Flat Earth Society, which is their assertion that gravity doesn't exist on Earth. According to their belief, if we were to drop a heavy object and a feather in a room without air, both would fall to the ground at the same speed. They argue that in their model, gravity acts towards the center of the disk, meaning that if something were to fall, it would be pulled towards the center of the Earth. This would imply that gravity behaves differently at the center and edges of the disk. However, in our everyday experience, when we move in any direction on Earth, we don't feel a change in our weight, which contradicts the Flat Earther's claim. Friends, I know not everyone can go to space. But let me tell you about a place on Earth where you can feel that the Earth is round. Imagine a place where you can witness the sunset twice in one day. Yes, such a place exists, and it's in Dubai, home to the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. You can experience this phenomenon by taking the elevator to the top floor of the Burj Khalifa, which faces west. There, you can watch the sunset for the second time in a day, while you already witnessed it once on the ground floor earlier. This unique experience occurs due to the height of the building, and it's particularly noticeable during Ramadan when the timing of sunset differs between the ground floor and the top floor for the evening meal. Iftar. So friends, once again, it has been proven that the Earth is not flat, but round. If the Earth were flat, we wouldn't be able to witness the sunset twice in a day like this. And if you still don't believe it, you can use small telescopes or high-resolution digital cameras to zoom in on the sky. You can see other planets like the Moon, Sun, and Jupiter, and they are all spherical. So how is it possible that other planets are spherical while only the Earth is flat? Besides, what perspective do you consider correct? Let me know in the comments. I hope you've gained a lot of knowledge from today's video. I'll see you in the next interesting video. Until then, take care, and thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.